the Get Rich or Die Trying movie soundtrack comes out. You're on that. That goes platinum. Mm -hmm. And then your second album comes out, Buck the World. Uh, Get Buck, very dope song, by the way. Uh, Polo the Don did that beat. Word. Shout out to Polo the Don. Polo the Don is a fucking architect. He, oh, built, yeah. he built that shit, that record right there. He played so many different parts, like, young, buck, young. That's Polo. People didn't know him, mm. but he was the first one to ever introduce me to the whole talk box instrumental. He just was in a whole nother world. And then, you know, from as a produ- producer. So I owe a lot of that Get Buck record to Polo the Don, for sure. Yep. Uh, that album goes gold. So it does well, but not as well as your previous album. Without a doubt. Now, did the problems with 50 kind of start after that? It started with that project. Because what happened was Shot Money and 50 started to have their problems in the midst of me making the Buck the World album. Um, Their issues was, from my understanding, about money. You know, and 50 immediately started to bring me and the guys together in the rooms at the office and say things like, well, look, y'all gonna have to find another manager. You know, at the time, Shaw was the president of the company, the manager of me, Bank San Diego. He wore so many fucking different hats, bro. The producer. He did everything. He's producing tracks. He's the president of the company. He's the manager. And then all of a sudden, him and 50 stopped seeing eye to eye for whatever reasons, which put me in a position where I had to make a decision on whether I'm going to continue with him being my manager or not when 50 just told all of us that we needed to go find new management because he's cutting his ties with Shaq. I just dropped Buck the World. Not only that, this is the only manager I know. Not only that, Shot Money had became a best friend of mine. I'm the best man on this man's wedding. That's how me and Close Shot was. Me and Shot were fucking probably closer than me and 50. Him and 50 was. You know, so I'm the best man of this man's wedding. I'm judging Shot not from a business standpoint of his problems with 50, but looking at him as, as my brother. No different than I think 50 was. And I didn't know their situations was that serious to the point where I needed to fire a shot. So Banks and Yayo carried that out, but I didn't. And when I didn't, that's what started everything. The resentment started from 50 not having me on the shows together, so you would see Banks and Yayo and 50 together. Me and Sha were left to promote that project on our own. That's why a lot of that project didn't do as well as the first one because Sha was going through his issues with 50. I've made the decision to stay with Sha. Now 50's treating me like an outcast to the group. Oh, you over there with him and leaving whatever it was to be done on me and Sha to get done. So from there, uh, is when, you know, I was started to get questioning interviews and shit about, you know, uh, well, what's going up, what's up with you in, in, in the G unit? You know, 50 was here, why you're not there? Or this is that. And for a long time, I used to put a mask over the shit. Oh man, they we all got different schedules and shit like that. You know, but after a while, bro, it became a point where it was beginning so intense of, how he was treating me and Shy at that time from the separation that, you know, I was getting asked questions uh, about, you know, uh, things like, you know, uh, publishing and, and monies and royalties and shit like that. And then I was answering those questions from the best of my knowledge. And, and it was like, man, I ain't never seen a, a publishing check. Everything I got come from shows and shit like that them facts from what I knew of my career. Because technically, you know, I I wasn't aware of or wasn't receiving some of the things that these people were looking at 
me as an artist to say, this is why I have all of this materialistic shit. I was bigging myself up from the facts of where they stood at, the, at that time. Was like, no, nah, I did this on my own. You know what I'm saying? But I always maintain keeping 50 in that light based on the opportunity that he gave me. I feel like none of it would have been able for me to accomplish. So that's why you would hear those lines like, uh, I got a Bentley that I only drove one time. 50 bought it for me, shorty, but it's still mine. I bought that fucking Bentley my goddamn self. But 50 gave me the opportunity to be able to buy it. So it was one of those yeah. things, you know, where I just started to experience a lot of the resentment from him by staying a part of Sha Money. You understand? And staying with Sha Money as my manager and as my brother taking that sacrifice, in my mind, I'm thinking they gonna work this shit out and everything will be just fine, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna turn my on my brother when I had no beef with Sha or no problems in business at the time to just walk away from him. And I got a whole album and project left to promote. I can't go find no other manager. And it wasn't like 50 was bringing nobody else in to become that to us, neither. It was just get rid of Sha.